True Boy kicking off to Mills. True Boy repping the Cardinals Mills in those Green Bay Packer uniforms. That's not a good way to start off stepping out of bounds at the seven. Hey, a little, we'll call that the D Jones kick right there. Kicked it over the sideline there, tried to get him to catch the ball, go out of bounds, maybe let it bounce, maybe the ball goes out of bounds from a bounce. Right, right, right. Hey, that was the time to let it go, let it get out to the 40. Not a good start for Mills, but it'll go to McCoy here on first and 10, and he brings it out to the 11. Good way to start the game here. Patient, yeah, they're already back to the North Territory. Run the ball. Mills, a guy that's really known for his defense, but he's put up a lot of points in the group stage, not only here today, but online, beating Sirius Mo 30 to 13. So those defenses do provide him with some opportunities. Play action to the flat. And that's going to bring up second and 10. Yeah, I like the up-tempo offense right here from Mills, keeping a, a, a true boy uh, at bay on the defense side of the ball. It's difficult to get your adjustments in when your opponent goes up-tempo. So second and 10 for Mills. Getting a little snuggy with it. Hands it off to McCoy, and Shady goes nowhere. And here you go. You get into a third and long situation. A lot of times in these spots, you look to target the deep sidelines with deep corner patterns. But specifically in this gun bunch style offense, you want to take a look at number 10 right here. We've got uh, Brandon Cooks, a route right over the middle of the field. That's the big time route uh, you can watch out for to get deep downfield. It's really been a dose of Shady McCoy and Crabtree has been a big playmaker for him as well in these first two games. He's 2-0 and facing the 1-1 one one True Boy. A lot of implications on the line in this one. Palmer can't get rid of it. And Johnson comes through with a big time sack, and now it's fourth and forever. Yeah, pressure off that right side. Really <coughs> difficult to pick up pressure from this gun bunch passing offensive formations. If you're new to Madden, you want to make sure you block your tight end, block your halfbacks. They help you pick up pressure uh, that you just saw a sack there against Mills. A true boy heavy on the defensive side. They stand tall. And now he's got an opportunity here from the 31 to strike first. You know, True Boy, right? Let's take a look at uh, uh, the way he plays. I mean, this is a guy, he's one of four competitors that made it uh, to all of our, our uh, EA majors this season. You had guys like Boats, Skimbo, and Kiv, and True Boy, one of the only four guys to make it to all these majors. First and 10. Double tight end, and he'll go. The Hill on the run. And Hill will gain a yard. Yeah, and this is a good formation to come out and see if he can establish the run early. We know that he wants to run the ball. A lot of guys will come out in those sets to try to get a, a cheapo drive in uh, with an under center formation and see if they can establish the run. And yeah, we talked about that unfavorable draft. Not a lot of strength at running back. Goes up the sideline here though and cannot hold on. Here we go. Big time hit from the secondary. Here we go again, bro. Yeah, and what you can see here, he tries to thread the needle down the sideline against that cover too. The big hit by Sean Taylor, the safety. Separate man from ball. Third and nine. 309 to go in the first. Watch for pressure off the edge here. Can't pick it up, but throws to the flat. And Hill will pick up the first down. That's a good uh, recognition right there. I mean, you saw the pressure scream off that right edge. Again, when you have a halfback split to the left of your quarterback, that's a recognition for the, on the defense side of the ball to say, hey, I want to send pressure away from where the halfback is to force an early throw by the quarterback. And what can True Boy do to sort of counteract that? Well, he's going to have to, number one, he could block the tight end to keep the tight end on, on the side of, of the right side, or he could flip the formation. But what ends up happening is, your opponent will recognize that and then they do the cat and mouse game. So they'll prick it from the opposite side. Yeah, once you flip it, they'll flip the strip as well. Second and 11. They kept the tight end to block, so good adjustment. And that's it's time, yeah. And there's Hill once again, able to break a tackle and move it to positive territory to the 43. Yeah, and, and Scott, when, when you get your, your, your pass protection in order, what ends up happening is you force the defense to either decide, okay, I'm going to play all out coverage where they stop sending pressure, or they'll get more aggressive and they'll start sending it from both sides of the field. It just opens things up for you. So pass protection, very important. Scoreless here, but true boy on a drive. If you didn't think his starting halfback was that good, well, Vereen ain't that great either. He's okay in the backfield. I mean, when he was with the New England, he was kind of fantastic. Fantastic. All those catches in the Super Bowl. Ah, remember it. So when, he, when he's with New England, you guys give him a 10-point rating. Oh, he gets, Is that what oh, happens? Oh, he gets all the rating boosts. 
Second and 11. Carr in the gun. Slow play by True Boy here. You talked about him working that clock. And almost throws an interception, but a great grab. And that'll make it third and five. And Mills, you heard him. They got to get that. Yeah, he wanted that one. He was right there with his user defender. Uh, user defenders, those watching at home, just picking up Madden for the first time playing or getting competitive level, level. It's the defender you're virtually controlling the middle of the field. That's this guy right there over the middle of the field typically is the user defender. You got trips to the right here on third and five. Shifts for Reen. Good to To the right side. Not able to pick up the blitz. Gets rid of it. That's absolutely just throwing it into coverage. So we had a fourth and five here. And let's go over to my main man, Zach Farles. Against Evil Ken, you see it third and five here. Franchise with the ball in his opening drive. Hasn't got much going. If he can convert, get some offense going. It's been where he's been struggling all day as he is 0-2. Back to you, Scott. Thanks, Zach. Great stuff today, keeping us up to date. Fourth and five. Big play here for True Boy. And he's going to go for it. Has time. Throws off his back foot, but it doesn't matter. It's down to the 25. He's knocking on the door of the red zone. Yeah, that was beautiful route progression right there. He ran verticals on the right side of the field, so he had a clear out here. Had this receiver run there, that receiver run there, and the backside drag underneath. Beautiful, cleared the user out, cleared all the zone defenders out. First down. Car now. A nice diving sack there. Thought he could get away, but McCain gets there in a hurry, my friend. How about that quick pressure off that right edge? We really need to, uh, True Boy really needs to figure out how to pick up that pressure. You can see his tight end right here. He's not on the line of scrimmage, so if he were to try to block him, he's got to motion him inside. That's what's causing issues right now in his pass protection. You give away a lot of man tips, you and Farrell's online. I, I, I don't know about the Superman sack. Is that a new thing? <laughs> Every once in a while, you get one. It's second and 19, once again, throws into coverage. Hey. True Boy's been pretty lucky thus far. He's throwing a lot of aggressive passes here. Yeah, right there in the, in the hardcore community, they call that, uh, you call a good pass a, a dot. With the reverse of a dot is a Todd right there. He threw that into triple coverage. So third and 19 at the 35, working himself away from field goal range. And Anthony Barr wraps him up at the 30, and that'll be the final play of the quarter. And so now you have an opportunity to when we start quarter number two to kick a field goal. If you're just joining us, we're in game three of Group C here in the Madden Challenge. Mills, 2-0, and oh, True Boy, 1-1, one and, one, and True Boy is about to kick a 47-yarder. Good job working that the clock in the first quarter, Gibbs. Ball. Keeping the ball out of the hands of Mills. All about ball control in, in these tournament games here. You know, you, you see a guy like True Boy. That's right down Main Street. So cracking the scoreboard first is True Boy. And we got a 3 nothing game. I mean, you're talking about a guy like True Boy, he's already seen W. He was number one ranked in, in the Mad Championship Series standings. He's, he, uh, he he's gone. going home. Uh, Bugs, number four. He gone. Uh, in the, the standings, he's gone. So right now, True Boy really needs to get this victory here. He's currently one and one uh, in this group stage. You can see right there his, his pass selection. He's three rushes, eight passes. Mills, one rush so far and, and two passes. So he needs to establish himself on this drive and put together something here and put some points on the board. We got Kevin Hollywood coming up a little later on. That's number eight versus number 12. So a lot of the top players representing here in LA and a big time hit at the 26th. Shady McCoy will gain one. Yeah, beautiful user defense over the middle of the field right there from True Boy. What you want to do for those of you at home, you take your user defender right here. This guy right there, you click onto him, you let the run develop, you kind of stay patient, patient, let the blockers engage the defensive line, then shoot your gaps. Old motion from Crabtree. Looking downfield, one-on-one -on -one coverage, and Freeman cannot get it away from Harrison Smith, good job by Smith on the defense. Yeah, and True Boy said that he, he didn't like his draft, but right there, Harrison Smith, one of his top five he's players, a makes a huge play for him in the secondary, breaking up that play. And he's very agile back there, and I also like he can come up and lay the stick on the wood. Tries to get it down, checks it down to his tight end, fourth and eight, and no hesitation, he'll go for it. And with the hurry-up offense, True Boy, rightly so, is going to call a timeout, get his 
guys out there for this big fourth down. You gotta make sure you get your defense in order for fourth and eight. In these situations, what's really important, you have to protect the sidelines uh, and watch for throws toward the sideline. But looks like we're gonna get a punt here. We've seen, we've seen Mills punt a couple times in the off-stream matches, so he's he's willing to punt, play defense. Intent with a trailing by a field goal, and now True Boy will take it at his own 20. Has a lane on the outside. Can't get away at the 46. So we got a 3-0 game here. Mr. Farles, what's going on in game number two? Scott, this is not an April Fool's joke. Franchise has moved the ball into field goal range. Dropped out on fourth and 20, but kicked it. He's up 3-0 over Evil Ken. You know, I heard Franchise talking a lot in those first two games. Been a little quiet. Say less. First and 10. Tough when you go 0-2. I mean, you get here and you go Not much to say. big stage, right? I mean, he's a very confident individual, but he really is a, a, a great guy and a, a great person to meet here and, and compete at a high level. Great personality. Come up a little bit short in his first two games. Got the lead over there, though. Second and four. Off the 48 and plus territory. I formation. Jeremy Hill about the eye. Does a good job getting to the 43. So four carries now for 12 yards. And we're starting to see True Boy and some of that stick control, his ability to manually control the ball carrier and move them around the field to find open running lanes. He's really starting to put the pressure on with his ability to control the running back. Sends his tight end out wide, and he's going to run a stretch play to Hill, but McCain is there to blow that up at the 45, a loss of two. Nice run there off the edge, but better defense from Mills. Now you get into second and long. This is where you want to get a, a manageable completion, a little drag over the middle of the field to your tight end here. Get some open yards. Comes the blitz, gets rid of it quickly. Toe taps at the 40. And that's going to bring up third and eight. But there's a four-yard gain in, instead of taking a big sack. That, that's a good conversion because it gets you to a more manageable third down spot here. Watch for Nelson again over the middle of the field. Maybe uh, uh, his tight end Green, quick slant over the middle of the field as well. So third and eight. I like that. Okay, see, look, you got a tight end over here. You got a halfback over there as well, and they're able to pick up the pressures. Once again, here comes McLean. Fourth and eight, you can hear the frustration settling in. Yeah, in these spots, you have to stay composed, right? You, I mean, you can't let the, the, the rhythm and flow of the game get to you here. It's fourth and eight. Get your pass protection in order. You're going to keep Green in to keep him blocked and, and run a play action here to pick up the pressure. Partner, we've called some low-scoring games <laughs> thus far. They, they might not invite us back if, if somehow we have something to do with these guys unable to move the football. Two tough defenders and a great find there. And Carr now 7-11. And just like that, the ball's at the 31, first and 10. Yeah, good change of pace right there. I like the, the, the option where he picked up, uh, kept his tight end. We didn't see pressure on that play, but I do like the recognition to, to keep the tight end on that side of the field to pick up the pressure. So first and 10 from the 31, double tight end, high formation, and Jeremy Hill will handle the rock. Oh, who is that, man? And he's going to lose two. And so stalling out here on this drive, let's see what's going on in our other game, Zach. Well, Franchise currently 0-2. He needs some help, but he is helping himself right now all over Evil Ken's defense. He goes up 10-0 and looking good doing it. Yeah, the big thing about that is Evil Ken really needs to move to 2-1. And Group C, so now down 10 in that other game. Yeah, well, you think about it. If, if Mills, uh, in this game, if he gets the victory here, you get True Boy falls to 1-2. and two. Franchise gets a victory. He's 1-2. and two. And then Ken, he'd be 1-2. and two. So, not going on. I was told there would be no math. You're, no, you're the guy that has to do it. you got to number crunch everything. I'll, I'll, I'll pull out my TI-85. Throwback. Handle it. First and 10 at the 20. Good job by True Boy moving the ball here in the second quarter. Who is that, man? Who are these people? <laughs> front seven. With the front seven. The shedding, it man. is letting Mills God. talk. He's saying everything I want to say. Who are these guys? Big Grady Jared off the edge. Yeah, I know a little bit about Grady Jared. Rookie out of Clemson, and, and, and most people that watch the Super Bowl know a little bit about Grady Jared. Second and 10 from the 20. Carr. And I think about every pass that True Boy's thrown, except maybe one or two. 
He's been in double, triple coverage, but he's 8 of 12. Yeah, and, and something to, to make a, a point here. Uh, Mills is the inventor of the Nickel Blitz 2. He showed me a photograph from August 20th. This is one of the most popular blitzes in the entire community. He is making it look absolutely phenomenal right now here against True Boy. Uh, defensively, not really giving him anything, only these underneath routes. Well, here comes a fourth and four. You got a three-point lead, and he's going to tack on another Fig Newton here to make it six. It's a 31-yarder, and it's up, and it is good. But if you're Mills, you're okay. You, you bend it a little bit, but you didn't break. Yeah, you got an opportunity now to go back down, put together a drive here, and get if you get a touchdown, you, you'd be in the in the lead. It's one of those things that's really frustrating when you play a game of Madden because right now, True Boy's been able to move the ball downfield. He's gotten himself into field goal range, putting points on the scoreboard. Feels as though he's kind of in control of this one early on, but you're just one possession away, one touchdown away if you're Mills to get right back in this one. Yeah, punted the last time he had the football. Now he's got it at the 25, but he's only got 48 seconds left in the half. He's going to throw it deep to Fruit. Oh, Freeman cannot pull it in. Going down to Freeman one-on-one. Really -on -one. He likes that option really there wrong? against that cover three style defense. And why not? Oh. You're going to go to one-on-one -on -one hey, coverage, see if Freeman can win that battle. Cut his left. Cut his left. Both these guys with Harrison Smith back there in free safety. He's done a good job in that one-on-one -on -one coverage. Palmer rolling out. Oh, come on, man. Throws it into Crabtree. And now Carson Palmer just two of six. And Mills really struggling on offense here in the first half. Yeah, but I like his aggressiveness going downfield against True Boy's secondary. You know, True Boy didn't have a great draft in this draft champions tournament where uh, it's kind of like a, a fantasy football draft. Yeah. Right? You get 15 rounds, fill out your roster with all random players. Uh, but True Boy, his secondary is the, one of the weak points of his entire team. 31 seconds, he'll throw that one to the turf if he was taking the pressure. And here comes the second punt of the game for Mills, who's 2-0 and oh in Group C, but he's the mayor of Struggleville right now. He's got an opportunity, though, to get lock up on defense here, getting it back in the second half. A little stick work right there from True Boy. We've seen him do that once or twice. Gets him to the 27-yard line, and really what True Boy has struggled with is Bobby McLean, the elite from the Miami Dolphins coming off the, the right edge. Yeah, and you can see he, he's really forcing uh, a true boy to keep the tight end or a halfback on that side to pick up the pressure. It's a committee meeting in the backfield, and true boy will use a timeout. He's got one remaining with 18 ticks on the clock. Yeah, and he needs to get about, uh, you know, down to the 30 with one timeout, 18 seconds. So he's going to need a, a miracle here, a big time play downfield to try to get in the field goal range. Little play action there, and he gets lit up in the backfield. Yeah, and now you're in a spot here, it's timeout. Count your blessings at this point and, and maybe take it into the second half at this one. This is a low scoring affair. These both these players feeling each other out, getting into the rhythm of the game. Drew Boy, though, has, has tried to establish the run. Mills done a great job of taking that away from him. Kenny Sills out wide right, Freeman on the left. Third and 13 with 11 seconds to go in the half. Leading by six. Carr gonna sling it. And a little bit of a tip drill, and they can't haul it in. Two seconds. You got fourth and 13, two ticks on the clock. What are you doing here, Gibbs? I would run the ball here. And here's why, because yeah, I don't want to punt the ball back here and give an opportunity for a, a punt return in this situation. But if you, if you punt you it just, out of bounds, right, you punt it out of bounds. That's the other option. I don't like. I don't like running it here. I, I, I don't feel. I don't trust. Is that two seconds? Is that two point nine seconds? <laughs> two seconds. Block everybody. You know this defender right here. He's screaming off the edge. You need to keep everybody out. You move your half back over. Keep him in the block. Throw one downfield. Well, final play of the half, and he can't get rid of it. And so we got six to nothing at the half. True Boy with the lead. Let's go to Tyler and the guys. All right. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate that. Defensive battle right here in this one. True Boy up six to nothing. Rico, I know you have some thoughts on the game, but before we get to those, I want to do a live look in at the other matchup, franchise taking on Evil Ken. Zach, why don't you go ahead and lead us through this? 
franchise. Looking good early, playing great defense. He got a long pass that you saw during the game break. It led to a score. He has a 10-3 lead. Evil Ken just kicked a field goal right before this. So now franchise has the ball. We'll see if he can get it going on offense. Rico, he's struggled to throw the ball deep downfield. He's really only done it in traffic, not living up to his normal self. He's a great defensive player but just the struggles on the offensive side of the playbook as he finds a nice route across the middle. Absolutely, it looks like it's taken him about two games to really get into his flow and get situated. The funny thing is, we haven't heard from him so far, and maybe that's because he's dialed in and concentrating on his game. We'll see if he goes big as one minute remains in the second quarter here. Franchise GG against Evil Ken on defense. Smart throw away there from Franchise. Definitely talking less, chirping less. In this Draft Champions format, maybe that confidence factor can be limited if you don't get your playbook, you don't get what you're used to. 54 seconds, second and 10. Some adjustments, David Johnson slides in the backfield to the right. Evil Ken has been sending the nickel blitz to against Franchise, but he's been able to at least pick it up long enough to throw it downfield. He's got to find a way to get a more open receiver, but Thomas is going to hang on to that pass. Andrew Luck slings it down to the 19. I think he learned a lot that last game. He could not handle that blitz at all, was having trouble getting any kind of pass off. He's figured out how to keep the blocking scheme together, and now it looks like he's moving the ball rather effectively. In franchise, although he's 0-2, he can still be in this. He needs some help, but he needs points. Let's see if Andrew Luck can get him in the red zone with 27 seconds left. He's 8 of 13. He's got 157 yards, mostly big chunk plays in this one. Evil Ken with a good defense. You see Night Train Lane, one of the biggest hitters in all of Ultimate Team. Ken's going to need a turnover if he wants to jump back into this game. We saw him get one against True Boy. Franchise needs to be smart here. He cannot afford a turnover. He has to get points. And if you're franchise, the way you've been playing defense, you seem to have Evil Ken's scheme locked up for the most part. If you're able even to kick a field goal here as you got a big third and four coming up, you take a two-score lead, you take it into the half. If you're franchise, even though you need a blowout in this one, I think you're feeling good about that. He's got Pryor, he's got trips to the left. Tammy, T.Y. Hilton in the slot. He motions it over, snaps it. Luck picks it up, looking across the middle. Pryor carries it down inside. Four, uh, 16 seconds left, he takes the timeout. We know this is no man's land in Madden world, the Madden world. He needs to make sure he watches the clock and watches that defense. He can't afford that turnover. Good news for Franchise. When he gets in this area, he likes to run the football. And since he has two timeouts with 16 seconds left, he's able to run it here because he has the clock situation mastered with those two timeouts. So if you're Evil Ken, you've got to think run game. David Johnson kicks it out to the right, and he gets hauled down and tackled at the one-yard line. He takes that timeout. Now, here's where it gets interesting. You might expect a quarterback sneak here, but everybody has quarterback sneak defense. Do you think he's going to try to impose his will here? He flipped it. This is usually a tactic. They like to flip it. We'll see if he hands off and sneaks. Andrew Luck scoots in for the sneak. That flip right before was the difference. And now franchise GG is going to take a 17-3 lead into the half. Of impressive drive right there by franchise. Definitely needed some points in this one because remember, every point matters in group play. You never know how the point differential is going to work out. You, you never know. You got to fight till the very end. So good job on franchise. Uh, Evil Ken. Definitely in a hole right there. So let's go ahead and talk about the main game we were on, which is True Boy taking on Mills. Defensive battle on this one. A few turnovers, uh, but this is a 6 and nothing ball game. You feel like it should be more than that, but it's not. Absolutely. And Mills has to really be lucky right now because he's – a touchdown, and he's in the lead right now. True Boy has been in control this entire game. Mills struggled a little bit when he faced Franchise earlier. He's having those same problems on offense once again. Absolutely. want to give a shout-out to Xbox, who, you know, we couldn't do this if it wasn't for them. Xbox One S is the ultimate games in 4 game entertainment system. Madden NFL fans play with friends on Xbox Live, the fastest, most reliable gaming network, and watch 4K Blu-ray movies. You know, we have a few other players about to take the stage, including Hollywood, and he's going to tell you how to play good defense. What's up, guys? It's Mr. Hollywood. 
My pro tips to become a better Madden player is by playing good defense. Key to doing that is by mixing in coverages and making everything you use look the same. There you go. Short and sweet. Thank you, Hollywood. Appreciate that. All right, let's go ahead and send it down to Drea on the field. She is with Mills, who's in a little bit of a hole right now. Drea, how's he feeling? Yeah, Tyler, you said at Mills you struggled on offense. How do you get more out of drives in the second half? Uh, I can't score on offense, so I just try to score on defense. There you go. Well, I know you talked a little bit of trash about True Boy. You said you always beat True Boy. That's why you want to play him. How do you make that happen? You talk the trash. Now you got to walk the walk. Because he really can't score. So if I score on defense, we'll be even. So. <laughs> There you go. Well, I talked to you a little bit off camera about your wardrobe. This is that Dallas represent. Tell me a little bit about the headband and how does that keep you in your swag and in that mode for Madden on the big stage? Because I got the juice. Got the juice. Let's send it to Scott and Gibbs. Thanks so much, Dre. I said it's got the juice. Well, it's time to 100% concentrate on winning this one. Yeah, I could go for an orange juice right now. Someone bring me. I would love an orange juice to get back into this game here. But th listen, refocus. He, he wants to dominate now, now with his defense taken away. But he needs to get together a, a couple uh, uh, passing possessions here. Get the run game going. Get the short passing game going. Think and dunk over the middle of the field. That's how you get everything started. Tight ends over the middle of the field. Little quick out routes. That's when you can then go downfield. Let's get that going in the second half. It's been pretty ugly thus far for both of these guys. I know we talked about True Boy having maybe not a favorable draft, and maybe that's the reason he can't move the ball, but what's Mills' deal? Yeah, well, what I'm seeing from Mills is he's attacking downfield, and I think he's recognizing he sees the, the weaker secondary. Uh, not the deep secondary, but your outside corners. Uh, you got guys like Brandon Flowers out there. He's tar targeting those guys downfield to try and get an advantage in the passing game. I like that strategy, but it's not working out in those one-on-one -on -one battles right now. Let's start the dink and dunks underneath, and then go downfield. Well, six to nothing, True Boy with the ball at the 25-yard line. Needs a big drive. Hands it off the hill, and Anthony Barr is right there, and he goes nowhere. You know, I like the commitment to the ground game still. Eight rushes, eight yards total, so not really working very well for True Boy at this point, but he is sticking to the formula. And time and time again, we've seen when you stick to your game plan, hey, things can work well for you as the game evolves. So second and 10 now, ball, the 25, and he tries to spell his running back with Vereen, and it's just getting worse, third and 12. Third and 12, this is where you target these downfield options here against these cover two. Watch what Kenny Stills streaking down that right sideline there. With time, throws across the field, and just nothing there gets back to the original line of scrimmage, fourth and 10. And a couple streaking receivers, one down that right sideline, and he had another uh, seam pattern in the middle of the field. Missed opportunity there for True Boy. Pressure was coming in quick, had to get the ball out. I'm gonna have to get with our stats guy, Donnie Moore. What's the most punts ever in an EA major? <laughs> it could be this one right here. He's not buying the punt. He didn't even line up and to return that. And it'll be down at the 20 yard line and that's where Mills trailing by six to go back to work. Yeah, and, and Mills, he gets the, his offensive playbook he wanted. He loves his draft. That's the kind of the juxtapose of between these two players here. Really, it's, see all these underneath options have things that he can uh, get his offense rolling here. McCoy, really been no running room for either of these guys in this one. Second and 12. Saw the quick stat there, 18 yards for Mills on the ground, only two for True Boy. Palmer with time, finds Brendan Cooks, and that should be enough to move the chains, it's first and 10. Yeah, and what we saw right there, we call that a mesh pattern, those new to the football, those new to Madden, that means you have two underneath patterns that run directly uh, near each other, really difficult for zone defense to defend against. Palmer will hand it off to Shady, and Shady will get to the 37, best run of the day for Mills. And he gets into a great second and short. This time you can go a little play action pass. Uh, watch for Antonio Freeman in the seam. We saw it earlier in the game at a big conversion downfield. Back to McCoy, and this time takes a big time hit. That's Hewitt screaming in there. And right here you can see a little block shed off the in, inside of the defense. Big time play by Hewitt, goes to the pass, Shady! Picked that out of thin air and picks up the first down. 
And True Boy can't believe it. Yeah, and for good reason. True Boy had a great uh, user play on that play. Jump down, clamp down on that short pattern. Just didn't get the animation he needed to get the interception. Was it great? Was it? <laughs> it was. He jumped that. He jumped that route. And he goes to his backup running back. And there's Ivory, and that's a tough guy to take down. He picks up six. Yeah, he usually falls forward. He's a guy that will pick up those tough yards for you. But right now, Mills putting together a nice drive. He started hitting Cooks over the middle of the field on these short passing, uh, crossing routes. Good things for his offense. Second and four, rolling out. And he'll just. Throw this one away. So six to nothing here. Zach, what's going on in the other game? Evil Ken is grinding this one out. A 12-play drive, 77 yards. All Adrian Peterson, a.k.a. all day. He's down 17-10, but getting closer. Evil Ken's a guy you just can't keep out of the end zone. Thanks for keeping us up to date over there, Zach. Third and four. Flag down. Must have jumped the snap. And I'm hitting A here, my friend. You accept that penalty <laughs> and you take that penalty for the first down. No, no he's not having it. Hey, a little sportsmanship yeah, I like right that. there. It's, it's a, I mean, Every like, time I say I like down. that, you jump down my throat. <laughs> okay. He is going to play this one straight up. Sportsmanship all the way right there from Mills. So fourth and four for the man out of Dallas, Texas. He throws it off his back foot, and it is lurked. Big time interception from Smith, and True Boy has got the ball. And you can see pressure off this left edge. It's going to force that throw. He throws off his back foot. True Boy jumps that underneath pattern and gets the interception that he wanted two plays before. Well, Mills from Dallas, but that was the Dallas Cowboy, Jalen Smith, taking it away from the deep town native. First and ten, nowhere to go. Bud Dupree. Oh. It's taken to, for a ride to the 46, gain of one. Yeah, he salvaged that run right there. He, he was trying to get off that left edge, but there was no room to run. He cuts it back inside for a gain of one. Second and nine. Points have been tough to come by in this one. True Boy leading by six, has a man open. Why, man? Come on! I tell you what, that one right through his hands. It's getting hot and heavy over in game number two. Farles, what's going on? Franchise striking back after a deep pass downfield from Andrew Luck. David Johnson capitalizes, punches it in, stretches it back out to two scores. Appreciate that, Zach. Franchise looking pretty good in game number three. Maybe a little bit too late. Yeah, he will. He's not chirping, and that's a big reason why. I think he's a little more focused, determined, trying to get that win there against Evil Ken. Big fourth and five in this one. See, sort of a balanced offense for True Boy. It's just. Only led to two field goals. Five yards to gain at the 49. Jordy Nelson, not, not Jordy Nelson, <laughs> Nelson over there on the side. In the bunch, and McLean, he's been there all game. And Bobby McLean with his third sack. I'll tell you what, I, what I like seeing here from Mills, he's setting the pressure off the edge, and then he's clicking on to the blitzer to then dive at the quarterback. That's going to give him a little split second extra pressure to get after the quarterback as he dives up his feet. I love that little adjustment right there from Mills. And the big drop by J.J. Nelson on third down, and then the sack on fourth will give him the ball back for Mills. But Carson Palmer, 4 of 13. Struggle City population Mills offense right now. He's playing pretty well on defense, but his offense really is letting him down in this one. Back to the run for McCoy. And Shady will get to the 38. Seven rushes for 14 yards. Ouch. We still got a one score game here, Scotty. Even though the ball's not being moved very well, it's still within striking distance. Palmer sheds one, throws it downfield. And Lucky, it just farms harmlessly to the turf. Yeah, now you're in no man's land in this spot here. You're ball in the 38, it's fourth and five. World is your oyster right now offensively. He's going to actually look for a field goal. Yeah, 55 yarder. Cut the lead to three. It's up. Doesn't have the distance. And it does. That changed the entire ball game, just like that Mills right back in the game. Yeah, and, and defense for the big reason why he got the ball in a manageable spot on the field. Uh, now, hey, he's still now within striking distance, whether a touchdown, whether it's a field goal. He said he was going to win this game because of his defense. If he can't score on offense, he's going to score defensively. So we'll see if he can get another stop here, uh, this drive here against True Boy. That was the Dolphins' Andrew Franks. This is 73 overall, kicks a big... 
55 yarder cuts the lead in half. And you can see 10 completions uh, for True Boys offense in this one, passing offense. Oh! And it's a fumble, ball on the ground, and Carr jumps back on it as Anthony Barr does what Anthony Barr does. Yeah, Anthony Barr for good reason, six foot five. You can see here, he screams in the backfield, gets the big hit, and that play right there, Derek Carr dives on the ball. Clear fumble on that one. Yeah, his, his knee was nowhere close to down, and that's gonna take us to the fourth quarter. Or the bottom of the seventh, however you see it, it's six to three. We're just bringing the magic, baby. <laughs> just all these low-scoring defensive battles. But as we head into this fourth quarter, that third quarter really defined about uh, a defensive uh, pressure, your ability to get a big stop, True Boys interception. Uh, Mills had a couple stops himself and get himself into a manageable spot to put points in the scoreboard. Who makes the big play here in the fourth quarter? Six to three. I feel like I'm calling SEC football here. And he's going to take a timeout to start the quarter, that, question that, mark? That, that timeout, <laughs> that's going to play a role here. That's going to play a role. Well, it's six to three in this one, and we got a good one over in the other game. Mr. Farles, what's going on? Turning into a great one here. Evil Ken, seven plays, 75 yards. Adrian Peterson, nifty stick work. He's down 24-17 in the fourth. I appreciate that, Zach. We'll keep you up to date. What's going on? That one's been a barn. That's how it goes. Uh, every time we've been up here, it's six to three. And the other game's an absolutely, uh, you know, shootout. You get an absolute barn burn on the other one, but that was a beautiful throw right there. Good recognition from True Boy. He sees that it's man-to-man -man coverage, adjusts his, his, uh, his offense, goes to a corner pattern for the first down. So six to three in this one. First and 10 from the 43. Dupree almost got that block Welcome shed, but stumbled just a bit. Yeah, and, and I like that defensive play call there. One of the uh, benefits of running this nickel-style uh, defense is you have a uniform look, and what that represents is take a look at this. You have one middle linebacker here, you got a, a corner out here, and another corner right there. That means you can send pressure off the left edge or the right edge in either uh, situation. We've seen True Boy be very explosive on offense and past oh, tournaments. Boy. And there's Bud Dupree. Hey, Didn't get to the quarterback, but still made it happen. Great. Yeah, yeah and, and Mills is just this really is starting to dial up the pressure, man. He, he is starting to send pressure on both edges here, trying to really force the tempo uh, against True Boy here. Third 10. Huge drive here with 429 to go. Big third down. Bunch to the right. A little bit of motion. Car, got to get rid of it. And once again, overthrows. What do I got to do? JJ Nelson. For real? Well, you got to set your feet and throw the ball. You got to <laughs> well, throw I'm, a dot. That's I'm, what you got to do. I'm telling you, what we're seeing here from, from Mills, it, I really, really am impressed by it. Every time he's getting that blitz to defender oh to come God. in free off the edge, he's actually clicking on and then diving at the feet of the quarterback. It gets the pressure there a half a step quicker, and that's where you're seeing some of these overthrows from True Boy. Big fourth down. That's JJ Nelson, not, not known for his route running. Maybe that's part of the, the issue. Just can't get out there in time. His height is a problem there, too. Yeah, he's. Not the tallest guy at the wide receiver corner. Fourth down, forces it in, and it's a turnover on downs. With four minutes and 20 seconds to go in the game, Mills is going to have an opportunity at the 43-yard line to tie the game or take the lead. Yeah, and just like he took a, an opportunity with his last possession from his defensive stand, he has to take advantage of this defensive stand and get points on the scoreboard here at the closing minutes of this fourth quarter game. Well, let me set the situation for you. Mills is 2-0. You win, you're in. You're moving on. You're 3-0. and True boys fighting for dear life. And there's a fumble. And Shady McCoy is going to pick it up. There's been so many fumbles we've had in this tournament recovered by the offense. A lot of fumbles, a lot of offensive recoveries. Great pressure right here from True Boy. You can see the ball on the ground. One guy misses, two guy misses, three guy misses. And then the Packers pick it up. Shady McCoy. Jumped on that one, gets the ball here. And I tell you right now, True Boy is starting to really work that hit stick. Yeah, another big hit stick right there. Gets you into a spot now. This would be about a 59-yard field goal. I don't know if your kicker can hit this one here. This is a, an absolute bomb for your kicker. So let's see, fourth and nine. It's got tech the sidelines. Check the short part of the field, watch the deep post over the middle of the field. Yeah, he barely made it from 55, so I'm guessing 59's out of the question. Here he goes, fourth and nine. And maybe he's thinking, I, I'm ready to take the lead. Has all day. Throws it to Crabtree, and it's picked you. off. 
up. Thank you. And Shady makes a big tackle as Grimes steps in with the INT. Yeah, and a great adjustment defensively there. You can see this post over the middle of the field right there. He's going to be manned up from uh, True Boy's defense. That allows True Boy not to have to pay attention to that deep post. He then can stay underneath. He gets the interception with the force throw. Good defense there from True Boy. One of the big guys on his team, Grind stepping in there. Gets a little bit of room and then gets absolutely, like a man smoking at a gas station, blown up. Here comes the boom, Sean Taylor in the secondary. We said that was going to be an interesting matchup every time you see him on the field. Watch out for him causing fumbles. High formation. Trying to work this clock. 2.49 to go. True Boy hits the flats. We had a user strip fumble there on the, but he had made himself to the to the white. He was on the chalk. Yeah, and, and I think this game is really going to come down to the difference here of this defensive pressure for Mills. I'm, I'm just loving that pressure off the edge, clicking on and trying to dive at the feet of the quarterback. And Marine will stumble to the 42. So six to three in this one. Let's step away for a game break with Zach Farrells. Scott, we're looking in live as Adrian Peterson takes it across the first down marker on a third and one. Evil Ken got the ball back on a turnover. He trails franchise by seven, but he's got the rock with 110 left on the clock. Rico, you've seen Evil Ken in these situations time and time again. He's a veteran. What do you expect on this drive? I expect seven or eight. Will he go for two? That is the question. In the second half, Ken's put together big drives. Seven plays, 12 plays. Adrian Peterson there. Ken overthrows down the seam. We will fill you in as this game happens. Scott, back over to you guys. Both these games on big time drives. Thank you so much, Steve Farrells. 2.13 to go. A lot on the line here. And he finds a man finally down the field to the 10 yard line. And True Boy's in business. They take a look, he gets his pass protection in order. He's able to fade away from right to left in the, in the pocket. He finds the open post over the middle of the field. The big play of the game so far for True Boy. Yeah, Brandon Cooks finally getting open. 206. No timeouts left. And then we got a fumble. It is picked up by Edwards. Oh. Sometimes it's not your day. And right here you can see the fumble in the backfield. Hill coughs it up. It wasn't Sean Taylor causing the fumble, but still the recovery there for Mills, exactly what he needed in that situation. So now Shady McCoy will go to work and we're at the two minute warning. Six to three. Your moment's right here. Your bread drive. You got no timeouts. Need a touchdown. Second and 10 for Palmer. Throws it to Shady McCoy. Makes a man miss. He gets to the 16, and I know we're in crunch time. What's going on, Zach Farley? 29 seconds left. Evil Ken has a fourth and eight from the 36-yard line against Franchise, trailing by seven. He is going to go for it. Steve McNair in the quarterback position, calling out his adjustments. He sends the blocker to the right side. Peterson out of the backfield. And Ken picks it up and gets out of bounds. Scott, back over to you guys. So they're in the red zone here. And that one, and we're at the 16. Mills has got some work to do to move to 3-0. and And he's got a man wide open and cooks to the 45. He's just 6 of 17. But that was an absolute dart. Yeah, and Brandon Cooks finally stepping up here for Mills offense. He's a couple big catches on this drive here. That Brandon Cooks over the middle. Huge. Play action, lucky to get rid of it. Clock will stop with 108. Ball at the 45. How many yards would he say you need to get comfortable with that field goal range? Give me about 10 yards, I feel good uh, in this spot here, but you really always want to get to the 30. That makes you feel, even if you don't kick it at full power, you'll still be good. Second and 10, goes to Shady McCoy. McCoy still on his feet and works his way to the 39. And we got a minute to go. Nice interior run there, third and short. You have to play for the field goal in this spot here. No turnovers. You can't get into a situation. You can't take a sack. Play for the tie of the game. Field goal? Field goal. You play to win the game. Third and four. And he'll throw it up for Freeman, and it's Thank picked you. off in the end zone by True Boy. And they'll put it at the 20-yard line. And
and that fight so will hard every just day, about man. do it for Mills. Yeah, and, and that's what we were talking about there. You're already in field goal range. I do like the aggressive nature because you're trying to go out and win the game, but you're, you're in a situation where, hey, just in field goal range. Well, so this one's going to be wrapped up, and I know we got a heck of a finish over in game number two. Fourth and ten from the 18-yard line. Evil Ken with no timeouts in 11 seconds. Trails by seven against Franchise. This is for it all. Picks up the first down. Does not get out. Drops the rock. And Franchise GG is going to say GG. He takes the win. 24-17. That was good stuff, Tyler. Serious moves right there from Franchise GG to tighten up and lock down this game in the red zone. Scott, what a win. Yeah, congratulations. Franchise finally got himself a GG, and it's GG's over in this one. Six to three. Bonker. What do we got to do to get a touchdown when we call a game? Oh, we got a big one coming up later. A little young kid, a little Hollywood action. Okay, okay, action. That, that makes up for oh, it. I, yeah. I feel better now. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a big game. Well, what did you see in this one? True Boy doing a nice job controlling the clock and playing good D and coming up with the big interceptions when he needed to. Well, I think True Boy struggled uh, offensively, and a lot of that had to do with that pressure off that right edge consistently. Never really got into a rhythm to pick up the pressure, whether it kept his tight end. I mean, he did everything that he could do to pick that pressure up, but it was still coming in. Well, let's go down to the third member of our broadcast team. Drea, take it away. Thank you so much, Scott. Well, True Boy, Mills said he was going to dial up the pressure defensively. He did that, but you responded well. What was the key to that? I mean, that's, just, that's what you call an ugly Madden game. I mean, I don't <laughs> care. I mean, I got the win. I mean, I only had, what, 106 passing yards. You know, I had three takeaways, so it was all right. Well, Mills is just saying, Mills is just saying, look at the stats. What do you want to, what's your response to that? Look at the scoreboard. I mean, that's oh. it. Oop. I want to ask you about Mills and what he said. He said he wanted to play you because he always beats you. Does something like that motivate you even more, or do you tune that kind of stuff out? I mean, it's just trash talk. I don't really care. I mean, every game, you know, I take seriously, whether they're good or bad or whatever. I don't care. All right, congratulations. You fought through adversity today. Thank you. All right, well, let's shift to Mills. Mills, you came up short. What's the biggest thing that you would have liked to have done better to come out with the victory that you said you were going to get? I wish I would have got a yard on the one he sagged me. I said I could have kicked the field goal, so it could have been 6-6. Six, six. Overall, still a big day for you. What do you want to say to the Madden community? Everybody's recognizing that you are still a force. Uh, build your front seven. <laughs> Simple as that. Build your front seven. All right, let's send it back to Tyler. All right, thanks, Dre. Appreciate that. And for you folks wondering, yes, both Mills and True Boy are going to be advancing out of.